Hello everyone and welcome to our last episode of Artistry Unleashed. I'm your host, Ammon. We have finally reached our last and final, the fifth episode of Artistry Unleashed. These five weeks, I feel like went by so fast, but throughout these weeks, we've got to learn the great fundamentals of creating art. For those of you who are just joining us in, we've just completed our five weeks of Artistry Unleashed series for beginner artists. So if you want to watch any of the missed episodes, I will leave the link just up here so you can watch them. And for those of you who want to re-watch these episodes you can because they will be uploaded on YouTube and you have access to watch them as many times as you want. For those of you who haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon so you never miss any of my posts. You guys all should be so proud of yourselves for reaching to this last episode. You've learned so much from the very first episode till now. I think you need to give yourself a round of applause and a pat in the back because you did it. Now you can actually declare yourself an artist because you've learned the fundamentals of art and you've implemented it over the past five weeks. I'm very, very proud of all of you. So in this episode, we are going to be doing a mix match of what we've learned in the past weeks of these series. So why I call it mix and match is because we're going to be combining color, lines, doodling, shapes, main topics that we learned last weeks. We are going to implement those in today's video. So without taking much of your guys' time, let's dive into the video. So without further ado artists, let's begin with today's video. Let's begin with today's lesson. So first we're just gonna grab a blank piece of paper. So I'm actually gonna be making a house and the inspiration really is from the movie Up. I'm not sure if you remember watching the Disney P Pixar movie called Up. So that house from that movie is basically the inspiration in today's art activity. So as I'm drawing the house, I did want to mention that if you want to make something else other than a house, feel free to do that. Or if you want to follow the same artwork that I'm making right now, you can also do that as well. It's totally up to you as to what um, sort of sketch that you have in mind to create. Once our house sketch has been made, now I'm going to go ahead and make some lines on the top of the roof. Now once the drawing is complete, I'm going to be using a black sharpie marker to outline the drawing. Feel free to skip this if you don't want to, but I personally feel like that when you add in a black colored outline on the drawing, it gives it a nice look to it. Once that's complete, now it's time to add the color. One of our art lessons where we learned about the color theory and how color is the most fundamental part when it comes to creating art projects, I'm going to be adding on the primary colors in today's video and we're going to be making the colors that we had learned in our last class about the primary colors and how you can make the secondary colors using the primary colors. I'm going to be showing you how we can make the color brown using the three primary colors. First, you add a dab of red colored paint, then using some yellow paint, and then we're also going to add in some blue paint. And as we blend that, we see that the color has changed into a brown colored paint. I've added a little bit more red as well, just to kind of make sure that the color gets a little darker and just a dash of blue more. Using the color brown, now I'm gonna go ahead and add that onto my drawing. Feel free to use any other color you want if you don't wanna use the color brown. Once that's complete, now we're gonna be coloring in the roof and the door, also the windows. So feel free to use any other colors you want. For the roof, I'm going to be using the color red and I've added in a dash of water just to kind of have that little um, lighter effect to the color. I'm also going to be coloring the door red as well. Now using the color blue and just a hint of water, I'm going to blend that in to color in the windows. 
So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with first making the secondary colors. So what we had learned in our last class, we had learned how to make the secondary colors. So I'm adding the color red and yellow to make the color orange. And using yellow and blue, I've basically made the color green, our second secondary color. And then finally, to make our third secondary color, I'm going to be adding in some red and blue to make the color purple. And here you go. Now we have our primary colors and our secondary colors. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to be dabbing on our finger and I actually wanted to use a Kleenex around my finger. So um, if you want to just use it without a Kleenex, that's fine too. So as you can see, I'm just dabbing in the colors using my finger and I'm just adding the colors onto the piece of paper. Pretty fun and easy activity, you guys. If you don't want to use your fingers, you can go ahead and also use a paintbrush as well to create circles to give it a balloon effect. And once that's complete, this is how it will look like. What do you guys think? And that is it. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video and you also got to learn from today's video as well. We have finally made it to the last episode of our Artistry Unleashed series for beginner artists. So I just want to say congratulations to all you fellow artists out there. You've reached to the end of these art series. Now, not to worry, we will be coming up with more art series. If you want to see more educational art series like these, do let me know. This is just the beginning. There is so much more to learn, but once you've learned these main fundamentals of art, you can excel yourself in many ways with your artistic skills. This is why I've created this channel for all of you beginner artists out there that want to learn how to start creating art and have this added in your self-care routine because art is truly what I like to call it and a quote that I actually go by is that art is a language without words. It's all about the emotions that are expressed through color, through lines, through shapes that we get to see in these beautiful artworks made by artists like you. If you want to continue your journey of learning art, and excel your skills, then I would definitely recommend you to join my free, and I would want to say this again, free Facebook group, which is actually an exclusive group for those of you who want to learn even more and learn different techniques. Also, I have a quick announcement to make. I have been working on this for quite some time and I have created a project called Confidence Through Creativity. The project stands upon helping kids and young adults build their self-confidence through the help of art. Many people underestimate the power of art, and it's a way of self-expression. Art has the power to allow individuals like you and me to help express our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. What inspired me to create this project and name it Confidence Through Creativity was mainly because it focuses on helping people who struggle with low self-confidence. I myself have struggled with this during middle school. I have a YouTube video that explains my story on how art was the light in my life. It helped me become the person that I am today. I wasn't always this confident. As a kid, I was very shy, reserved, and had no self-confidence in myself. And now, you see me making YouTube videos on what I am passionate towards. Art came as a miracle in my life and made me this confident that I am able to share my story and give people the solution on how to build their confidence. I have created this Facebook page to better connect with each and every one of you. On this page, I will be posting DIY videos from my YouTube channel and other 5-minute DIY videos that I will be also posting on this Facebook page knowledgeable posts and being able to interact with every one of you by going live on Facebook and also having weekly art challenges and so much more to offer and did I mention that this is absolutely free to join and I have also created a Facebook group where once you're in the group you can post videos of yourself attempting to do art challenges engage with others and post photos of artworks you've made the intention for this group is to be all about being creative and helping you and others build self-confidence and this is also absolutely free to join my goal here is to build a community who I can help inspire many people like you to unleash your creativity through these videos. 
Join the world of art and unleash your creative side by just clicking the join button. So if you're interested in joining, the link is just in the description box. So be sure to click the link and click the join button. I will see you there. Be sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss any of our posts. When you guys show love and support through my channel, um, it makes me feel a sense of motivation that I want to do more. I want to share more content. Um, and I feel like that our community has grown so much from from where it was till now I would say that our community is growing so let's continue growing you guys because there is so much more content that I want to share for all of you so let's continue growing let's hit our milestone let's hit it but for now definitely let's hit 700 subscribers because we are close to our thousand subscribers milestones and like I always say that I love you guys so much and from the bottom of my heart you guys truly are amazing and when you guys leave comments under my videos and share how much you've learned so much throughout my videos and how you want to see more videos and how you've actually shared it with your friends and family, it makes me feel happy that my videos are reaching out to you guys. And we are finally done and finished with Artistry Unleashed art series for beginners. I do hope that you've enjoyed and got to learn something in these past five weeks and i do hope to actually bring another art series if you want me to share that i am still going to continue putting out content um art tutorial videos for you guys on youtube on tiktok on instagram but obviously if you want me to share more art series like these in this channel please do let me know and what topics would you want me to cover for you guys and thank you guys so much for watching today's video and um, I will see you guys very soon um, I am posting a lot of YouTube shorts as well because I know that you guys love watching my shorter side content as well so I love sharing those shorter videos for you guys and I'm gonna continue doing that if you want to see more shorter content you can also follow me on TikTok. I'm gonna leave the links in the description below for you guys to check out my socials and um, these are my socials up here as well so be sure to follow and i will see you guys next time take care stay creative and just remember your imagination is limitless see you in our next video bye